Welcome to another 5-Minute Tech Tip. This is Dave Casuto here to talk about clipping masks. I've already done another video on this, working with clipping masks and text. Here's one working with two images together. So you'll notice here I have this lovely image of a castle shining through this lovely image of a Romanian map. So these are Romanian castles going through this Romanian map. And I've also used a little bit of opacity to kind of make them both so at the same time. How did I do that? Okay, let's go ahead and check out how this is done. So let me go ahead and show you the files. I've already got these all set up. All right, and you will see here I have two layers here. One is this Romanian castle and underneath it is this image here. Now it's very important to note that this image has transparent pixels all around it. All right, so you'll wanna either watch some of my previous videos or watch some other videos on how to do that. But this is just the only thing that I wanna be masking through at this point, okay? If I had other stuff, and even if it was a white box, it wouldn't know what to do. It wouldn't kind of frame it the way I want it to, okay? So it's very important you do it that way. The other important thing is the stacking order of how you have um, in your layers, okay? So notice how I have my image up on top here. The paradox here is that the thing that you want to be shining through is going to be on top. And then the thing that's going to be sort of the framing is going to be underneath it. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Experiment with that. So that's really the hard part is getting all this stuff set up and then all making sure that, notice how this is transparent pixels all around that. You can see my little checkerboard. And then you're going to find on your keyboard the Alt or the Option key, and that is really the thing that makes this happen. This is how you make a clipping mask. So I'm going to hold down the Alt Option key, or my Windows key, just the Alt key, if you're on a Mac, Alt Option. And then notice when I move my mouse right between the two layers, I get this little box and an arrow. And all I'm going to do is simply click. And just like that, I have now created a clipping mask, magically. All right. Now, in order to see the lovely flag colors there, I just need to make the opacity come down a little bit on this, and then very gradually I can start to see a little bit of both in there. Now also notice that these are all independent of each other. So if I wanna make this castle a little bit smaller, even though it's clipped inside of this, it's still its own little independent entity. So I can now move this around, I can make this smaller, I can do all kinds of different things to it, independent of the map here. Okay, of course this isn't the, really the best image, I got a little watermark there, so maybe you do something else. But then I'm gonna hit enter, tell it that I'm done, and then maybe I wanna add in some other effects, so let's just maybe do a stroke around my map. Notice I'm here, around the map. It's gonna pop up. And I still got a little bit of stuff to take care of here, no big deal. I'm just gonna make that a little bit thinner. Click OK. And then I could probably just use the eraser tool to get rid of these. Okay, don't really need that, that's not part of my image, but you can see this is exactly what I was talking about, why it needs to have transparent pixels. Okay, all that stuff, there was just a frame around it, it took that in and it thought I wanted to use that as the clipping mask. And now that looks pretty snazzy. Okay, so try that out with your own images. And again, check out the one that I did um, with clipping masks just using text. And text naturally has transparency around it because it's just letters. So there's no sort of box around the images like we had a box around this to kind of make it so the mask is covering the entire thing. All right, so that's a clipping mask. Experiment with it, but you can see pretty straightforward as long as you follow all those rules that I set out in the beginning, making sure that you have um, transparent pixels all around here, making sure the stacking order is one on top of the other just like this. Also making sure you use the Alt key to do that. And then after you finish with it, just go ahead and you know play around with the opacity a little bit, play around with some of the effects, and you'll see you'll get a pretty cool image within just a few minutes. All right, hopefully this was helpful for you. This is Dave Casuto with 5-Minute Tech Tips. Uh, if you have any requests or questions, find me on my YouTube channel through LinkedIn or from our website, sftechtraining.com, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.